Yo, what is up? What's been happening? Welcome back to another episode of Those Car Dudes. Well, the Audi got some wheels, uh, real cheap wheels actually, but they're 20 inch, 9 inch wide, and they came at a really good price, and they were stuffed to pieces, they were buckled, uh, some of them were even cracked. Uh, we got all that stuff fixed, but one thing we didn't get fixed is the curbing, and uh, well today, we are going to try and attempt to fix the curbing on the wheels. So a couple of things that we'll need uh, to get these wheels looking mint on the Audi uh, is some black rubbish bags, uh, we'll need some masking tape, we will need some 80 grit sandpaper, uh, we'll need some 180 grit and some 320 grit. Now these are all wet sanding paper so we're going to use some water when we do that. Uh, we also have this uh, filler, now this is made to be uh, used on alloy and metal surfaces so we'll be using that. Uh, we have some primer, so once we got it all filled up uh, we're going to have some primer that will go on the wheel. Uh, and then some wax and grease remover as well, just to make sure that our surfaces are clean uh, before we put on the primer and before we put on that final coat. Now we also have uh, a rag as well, just to make sure that we wipe things off and uh, make sure everything is really clean uh, so that when they go on the Audi, uh, everyone's going to be like, yo, look at that Audi stance board over there. We got our 80 grit, and so we're gonna do initial sand. Now with this, we're only gonna be using the 80 grit on the curbing itself. We're not gonna rough down the whole wheels and take it back to bend bed or anything like that. We'll probably give it a quick scuff later with some finer stuff before we primer and paint it. Um, but for the initial, just getting the curbing sanded down and ready for the filler, we're just gonna use the 80 grit and some water that we put in these spray bottles. Now we finished going over all the wheels with the 80 grit sandpaper. Um, we've managed to smooth out some of the curbing on the wheels, but there's still a lot of work that needs to happen on them. So uh, what we're gonna do now is we're gonna go over them with some wax and grease remover, clean them up, and then we're gonna start the filling process. Now with the wheels wax and greased, we are gonna use this filler uh, to fill in the curbs around the edges of the wheel. Basically, we finished sanding the wheels uh, with 80 grit. Now, I know I was a bit optimistic with that filler uh, in the start, but uh, yeah, it was a bit of a mission to put on, but it came out really, really good. And uh, when I was sanding it, I can feel it. It was uh, pretty tough to sand. Now, that's probably my fault for putting too much hardener in the filler. But uh, anyway, we got them sanded and they're looking nice and smooth. I'm looking at these wheels and they're looking pretty good. So I think it's time to move on to giving them a clean. So we're going to probably take them outside, give them a quick wash. And then we're going to use um, some of this wax and grease uh, remover. And then we can start moving on to getting primer on these wheels. And then we're going to sand it one more time. Final coat and it's going to look mean. JD has literally chosen the wettest day through water blast as well. We had a civil defense warning today about um, the floods and uh, JD has decided to wash his wheels in it. 
This is what separates the boys from the men, everybody. People are willing to stand out in the rain and get those wheels clean. Now that the wheels are washed and clean, we are gonna go over with a microfiber cloth and also some wax and grease remover. Uh, we'll spray that on and give it one more wipe down uh, before we're ready for primer. Now we have to remember that we're not painting the whole wheel, uh, so we're not gonna go too hard with this primer. We're only gonna apply it to the edge of the wheel. So last night we gave these wheels a primer and then what we did was we waited for that to dry and we went over the wheels again with 320 grit sandpaper. Now we wet sanded that and then we washed them down and this is what they are looking at right now. Now that we've cleaned the wheels with some wax and grease remover, it's finally time to put on the paint. Now we got this mixed uh, and yeah, we've already painted one of the wheels so it's looking really mean, um, but it's pretty cold where we're painting these wheels. So I have this heat gun that we'll be using just to go over the wheel as I'm painting it, just to make sure that we don't get any runs. And there it is, the wheels are done. They are filled, painted, and they are looking mean, Nathan. They definitely are. And it just goes to show you can do this um, at home. Anyone can do this. It does take a little bit of elbow grease and uh, you might find it's actually cheaper to just buy nice wheels from the beginning. But if you can get a deal on some wheels, you now know how to fix them. We are so excited to put these wheels on the car and just see what they look like. But anyway, guys, thanks so much for hanging out. Make sure you check out all of our other videos, hit that sub button, and we will catch you in the next one. Peace out.